is Christine. I'm gonna start this video a little different by showing you my Bow Bunny stash. Then we're gonna go over to the desk and I'm gonna show you my new series. All right, everybody, we're back at the desk and you're probably wondering, what does she mean by that strange little intro? Well, I decided I have been stash bash, good Lord, I can't say it, stash bashing <clears throat> on my various collections. I've been making some good progress but I have that one section that I showed y'all that is Bow Bunny. Technically, there's some graphic 45 in there, but it's probably 80% Bow Bunny because I really just love the papers. They're so thick and beautiful. But I guess I get I get distracted because they're in my own special section and I don't go over there. So my idea is I'm gonna do a series. It's called Sto Bow Bunny Stash Bash. I thought about calling it Bow Bunny Bash. And I thought nobody wants to know. <laughs> I don't want anybody to think I'm bashing them because that's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to use up the stuff. So I pulled out this collection and I'll tell you why. It's because I got a thousand pieces of paper. I always bought, I almost still do anymore. I always buy like two pieces of every, of the same pattern paper. I always buy two pieces. And then this one, somehow or another, I ended up pulling out all the papers, the double dots that go with it. So, I mean, it was kind of smart of me, but I don't know why to do that. But anyway, it's all together. Um, so my goal is to get through this collection. So I'm gonna have it on my desk until I'm done with it. Now the challenge with me is I tend to get a little bored with the same collection. So we'll see how that works. I also have the layered chipboard, and I have the Noteworthy, which has those pieces there. And I do have the Thicker's title that went with it. So that's pretty. And then I even have, y'all, if you've watched one of my other little videos, I used some glitter paste recently, and I didn't remember where I got it or what I used it. I don't have any idea when I, but clearly this is what I used it with because it's all over this, and I didn't clean it up. So that's gonna be a trick. I don't know if I'll use this or not with this collection at this point, but if not, I found me some stencils. Now, what I've done is I did pick out a picture. It's actually a little bit older. Um, I need to go look on my phone. It's probably 2018. It's either 2018 or 2019 because it was when my daughter was modeling um, and she had some test shoots. Unfortunately, I did somehow scratch this, so that'll have to just be either ignored or covered. We'll see. I don't know if I want to trim it. I might. Who knows? But that's the picture I'm going to use. And then I picked out um, this sketch. And to tell you the truth, the reason I picked it out is because I do see quite a number of little pattern papers there. And my goal is to use these papers. So I'm gonna use that. Uh, the only challenge might be the title is kind of large here and the thickers are just kind of normal size. So I'll figure something out. Anyways, that's what we're gonna work on. If you're a Bow Bunny fan, hopefully you'll join me for the series. Do the like and subscribe and all that good junk. And I'm gonna put the camera on stop. I'm gonna get my Papers picked out, and I'll start. Uh, I'll start fast forwarding in just a second once I get some traction. Talk soon. Well, uh, I started to record this, and my husband happened to come home, scared the crap out of me, so I had to start over. <laughs> um, I've already cut some of these. Um, I, I actually had recorded it. I even talked a little bit more, and I thought, Christine, this video is getting too long. I have got to learn a better time management. <laughs> <laughs> time management on these god dang videos. Anyway, so I've already got, I, what I did decide, I didn't mention this in the beginning, I did decide to mat my background paper on that green, you can see behind what I've got the uh, little double-sided tape going on there. I decided to mount it, and I'm, I'm going to tell you guys, I really struggled not to gut it because I'm like, it's so pretty, it's so pretty, but I'm like, Christine, you got a thousand pieces of paper, you need to not gut it. <laughs> so I didn't gut it, but I'm not going to lie, it hurt my feelings. Um, then there's my head again. So anyway, I'm going to put this pink with this yellow kind of distressing slash maybe mixed me at a look to it um, on there. I will tell you this collection, I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning, this collection, when I say my bow bunny stash, I should be clear, I haven't bought any in a while uh, because I've had so much. This is from two, 2017, this collection. So it's actually five years old. Um but it's really pretty. <laughs> I can't help it. So anyway, I've already really, I've already pre-cut or I've already cut off camera here. My uh, photo mat, my photo mat's actually the green is, is one of those double dots. It was actually one of the scraps to be honest with you. Then there's this floral pattern behind that. And then I cut the little fishtail banners out of some scraps. And then I've already cut, there's a little yellow kind of square and you'll see me, I'll put this down in a minute. And then this, the, uh, the square piece was actually, I thought I was going to use this six by six, and then I realized, Christine, that's way too big. So I ended up with a four by four that was in one of the cut apart sheets. What I'm doing here is I'm actually scuffing. So I actually had already gone through, and you can see my ink right there. It's a, a distress oxide. It's like a rose ink. I'd already inked the edges, but then I noticed on the floral sheet that was my photograph was like mounted on, I realized it was kind of 
like torn on the right hand side. I had done something funky with my cutter and I didn't notice it until after I got everything down there and had started to ink it. And I thought, first I thought I'll just leave it alone. I thought, no, that looks so dumb with one side kind of roughed up. So I thought I'll just go ahead and scuff the edges of these things. Now I did a real light scuff. I didn't do a deep scuff or the scent. Like it's, it's not where you like look and go, oh gosh, okay, that's really scuffed. It's, it's not quite that. It, it is roughed up and it is scuffed, but not like a, like I said, like a deep scuff. So now I'm going ahead and I'm, I'm putting down my photograph. Uh, well, it's funny. I actually end up, well, you'll see in a minute. I actually end up putting that photo itself on foam. I'm just mad. I did glue down the um, floral mat. And then as you remember, I don't know if you remember from the sketch. You can go back and look there. But there's that one uh, kind of horizontally looking piece and then that square. Now that square is where the little, in the sketch it has little tags. And you'll see in a minute, I actually get into the ephemera, which I'm kind of proud of. Because at first I thought I was going to have to cut tags. But ultimately, I was able to use some ephemera. So again, the whole point of this is using this collection up, right? So um, I'm going to organize my little fishtail banners here. I want them a certain kind of way. You know, I want them layered just so. And so I'm piddling with those. I don't, I haven't typed it down yet. There we go. I'm going to type that down. And then I'm going to put that down back behind the photo. I don't remember what I do next. I'm so sorry. I forgot. And I've slept since then. Well, not a lot. I actually woke up too early this morning. I woke up at 2.30, and I just could not go back to sleep, y'all. Busy, busy weekend. Lots going on, and my mind was just racing. So, anyway, I've got these three banners up there. Um, I think I'm referring back to the sketch right there. So, I'm going, okay, I need to do these little tags. I pulled out these. This is where I pulled out all the ephemeris. It's all kind of set in there. And at first, I looked, and I had those three keys, and I thought, can I use those? I don't actually end up using all three of those. I do end up using one of them. But then I realized there's these little, like, banner pieces in the ephemera. Now, they're not technically tags, although I will punch holes in a minute. But I thought, okay, these are kind of cute. I can use these. Now, they're really actually a little too long. So I end up trimming them um, maybe a half inch. I think it's about a half inch. And I start, it's funny because I kind of lay them like that. And, but the way the sketch showed was basically they were reversed, like mirrored or like, so one of them, the, the hole would be at the top and then the one on the, to the next would be, you know, point toward the bottom. So what I'm trying to do here is I, I want the holes to be opposite the shaped end. So, you know, you kind of see the fishtail end on one of those. You kind of have little pointy ends and then there's a little rounded end. Well, I want the hole opposite those ends. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, which, and then I'm looking at the colors and I want the colors to be, you know, to be complementary or to kind of make sense with each other. So I'm kind of moving these around here to see which one might look good next to each other, but then the shapes are right. And how you see it right there is actually not how it ends up. <laughs> um, this is where I'm going to go ahead and trim it because I'm going, okay, you guys are a little too long. And again, I've got that key sitting there. I'm actually going to end up, that's going to be, again, in the sketch, I think that was a, uh, I think that was another fishtail banner. Mine's not a fishtail in this case. I left it the shape it is, but it looks really pretty when I get done with it. Okay, so here's, I've trimmed those down just a little bit. Now I'm gonna come in on these other two and trim those. And again, I'm only taking off maybe, I think a half inch maybe, uh, just to make them fit on the square, uh, the way the sketch kind of shows it. I will end up putting those up on foam. I do come in and I will put little holes in there. I use my little uh, We Are Memory Keepers I think it's called like all-in-one tool. That's a kind of a neat tool if I'm honest. It's, you can make, I use it mostly for making tags. You can make, uh, I think you can make envelopes out of it. Although I have an envelope punch, so I don't really use it for the envelopes. It has a scoreboard on it. Um, actually, I trim a lot with it too. I think it's actually the thing, you'll see me sometimes when I do gut the papers, I use it as my paper trimmer to do that. It's actually a neat little tool, I like it. Um, I've had it for a little while. I did have to get a replacement blade not too long ago, and I could, it took me a little bit to find it, and I did end up finding it at Hobby Lobby, I think it was. Okay, so I'm inking the edges of these little tags here, and again, I have yet to actually poke them holes, and I will actually get, go over and get some, I guess a twine, baker's twine or something. I don't have it. It's, not, it doesn't, it's just white, and I'll add that, but first I'm going to uh, ink the edges of these. Now, that key piece there, you can actually see two little holes, so... Theoretically, it would be threaded through maybe for a banner or you could hang it like something. I end up covering those up actually with the title letters. So here's where I've got my strings. I've already put those through my little tags there. I've made them into tags, let me put it that way. Um, and I'm gonna trim those back. I had long strings and I go, you're kind of all over the place, Mr. String, so we're gonna trim you back just a little bit. And I've already done three of them. I didn't think you wanted to sit there and watch me do four little tags. So I'm on the last couple and I'm just making sure the strings are about the same size or the same length rather. Um, 
And again, I'm not even sure if I end up putting these back in the same place I started with them again. I finally find the way I want those organized, but I keep moving them around. So that's not where I put those things. That's so funny. I don't actually put them there like that either. I'm still looking at that going, no, no, I don't, I don't like those colors together. I don't like those shapes or whatever my deal is. But I've got to reverse them. Remember I told you uh, on the sketch, see how I've got the two now on the bottom row there. They had the holes at the same direction and that's not correct so you'll see me switch that around in just a second i do put them up on foam i think it looks nicer um just gives a little dimension on top of that four by four square i do end up covering up the four by four square has pretty patterns in the or little images in the corners um i do end up covering up the lower right one a little bit more it's it's a little bird cage or something i think and I end up covering that up. But I think it's okay because it kind of peeks out and it, it does still make it interesting. Ultimately, normally I would have, I kind of thought in my head I was going to put a bunch of decorations on these little tags, you know. Uh, but in the end, I actually only end up putting on some uh, word phrases. I thought about, like I said, coming in with maybe some more ephemera or some sequins or some such. But I, I ended up deciding that the patterns were just so pretty I didn't want to cover them either. I don't know. I might could have come in with either... Uh, glossy accents or something if I'd wanted to, but I, I stopped, you know, more was more and I was done. <laughs> okay. Here I am uh, messing around with these things again, figuring out where they need to go. And then I decide, okay, I want the two pointy ones kind of, uh, complimenting each other. And so they end up there. That's where they end up living. So now how you see it is how they live, uh, in, on the layout eventually. Once I get my phone tape on there, I do love my phone tape. I think it looks so pretty. Okay. I think I'm just double checking myself, making sure I've got those kind of organized, you know, the way the sketch kind of looks. I like it. I think it looks pretty. Now, yeah, I'm going to put that next to it. Now, I'm going to end up in a second. I, you know, I struggle with the title. I was like, okay, what can I make this title? And I mean, I had that entire thickers thing, so I had plenty to work with. I hadn't used any of those letters, which is so funny to me. I don't know. I don't know what I did the last layout. Who knows? So I ended up just calling it Natural Beauty. Um, she does have a little lipstick on, but generally speaking, she doesn't have a ton of makeup on. So this photo shoot was kind of interesting. When she was started modeling, you know, they have to go and, and get all these uh, test shoots. And you, she has to message photographers and, you know, have photo shoots. And generally speaking, I went with her because, honestly, she was a teenage girl. And you're talking to a bunch of usually older people, older men, that sort of thing. And all of them were very, very kind. I, I, I can't, nobody was ever misbehaving, but at the same time, you don't want your, you know, 17 year old daughter running off and getting pictures made by somebody that you don't know. So I went with her, generally speaking, and this was an interesting gentleman. We met him down, I think it was in downtown Dallas. There's a little park down there. I could not tell you the name of it now. Um, and took a bunch of pictures in this kind of general, uh, this little park. They turned out real pretty. Now, here's where I decide to put the foam on the back um, because it just, with the tags lifted up, I thought, okay, the photo needs a little bit of more, um, I wouldn't say emphasis because, I mean, it is a big photo and it's the only photo, but I just kind of wanted to make sure that it's, it, it had a starring role, if that makes sense. It had a starring role. So I'm using my ATG tape here. I will end up in a second using the ATG and I used, I think I used some wet glue. I just got a little bit worried because I did pull that up pretty easily. <laughs> and I go, okay, you know what? I probably need to add a little bit of wet glue on this just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. I was really pleased though. I had pulled that ephemera out. Um, I, I, I must have used quite a bit of it on a previous layout because when I looked at the back of the package, I didn't have as much left as I would have thought. Um, and if I'm honest, I love that amber sand. I end up using it. But on the back of the package, it showed there was a green one. And I, I might have actually enjoyed the green one better. But in, in, the, in the end, actually, this one turned out okay. Um, and I end up using a few more little pieces of the ephemera, too. So I was kind of pleased with that. So here's where I'm getting out these thickers. I, of course, I, I do end up having to glue them down. I think I'll cut that part out. But it's going to be natural beauty. I'm putting them on the wax paper here just to see. And I'm going to end up laying it over the top of that key there. And I'm going to cover those holes. It worked out just perfectly. I was able to put the N and the A where they covered the holes because I did not want to put string there. I already had string, you know, on those tags and I just that, that didn't make sense to me. I didn't want to add any more string. So am I really going to sit here and leave this? I guess I've left this in. I'm sorry how to spell out natural beauty. I thought I cut this out. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. I'm so sorry. You don't want to sit there and watch me spell that, but that's okay. Anyway, that's going to be where that goes. Um, yeah, am I seriously going to sit here and glue this down? 
Y'all, I'm so sorry. Y'all don't want to watch me do that, but it is what it is. I'm not cutting it out now. I've already started recording. <laughs> oh my goodness. The interesting thing about these stickers is it does have the pattern paper patterns on the letters. So like, for example, you'll see the, like the green matches the little green pattern papers. I don't know that they really do that anymore. I'm trying to think recently. Um, I mean, thickers, I know that they, they I'm trying to think if I've seen anything recent that's like that. I don't know that that's really on trend anymore. I could be wrong, and feel free to correct me if I am. Most stuff I see anymore is all one color. Or it could be multiple colors, but it's like a letter is a solid color, right? It's not like you see um, them actually match the patterns. And if y'all hear my cat in the background, she goes and she starts getting excited this time of morning. Y'all, it's early. It's like 6.30, 6.45. And she starts running around and she'll start meowing. So if you hear her crying, I promise nobody's doing anything to her. Okay, so on the sketch, there was this flower up on the um, upper left part of that photograph. And I find those little banners in the ephemera and I really liked it. I did go also and get, I don't know if I see it yet. I'm sorry, the little shade at shadow. Oh, I do. So at the bottom, you'll see those two little green leaves. I had... Y'all, back in the day, there was so many flowers. Everybody was using flowers on their layouts, and I still have some. I've gotten rid of a lot, but I still have some. And in that, I had some little green leaves, and I thought it looked pretty on top of these little pieces here. So those are the little banners that came out of the ephemera. And then I've gotten this these little green leaves here, and I thought, okay, this looks pretty with this little flower. I don't really overdo the flowers anymore. I used to do flowers all the time, but... They're so bulky in your album, and that's probably why people got away from them, truthfully. You can do paper flowers all day, and that's okay, but I had, like, legit silk flowers. <laughs> I had dozens of them, and I'm trying to remember. I got them from a place that was called, like, I Am Something, and I don't remember the name of them now, but I bought them there from overseas, and I had so many. It was ridiculous. I, Y'all, I tend to be one of those, once I get a thing, like a paste or a glitter something or a flower or washi or whatever, I just buy. I buy it by the ton, like, by the bucket ton, and then I'll have so much of it, and there's it's impossible to use it all. It's just crazy, but it's all so pretty when I first find it, and I can't help myself. I'm not going to say I'm an impulse buyer because I, I mean, I kind of am, but I'm not, but it's by design. Like, I buy it on purpose. It's not like I'm sitting there not thinking about it, and I buy it. I buy it on purpose, but it's like, Christine, you can never use all of this. What are you thinking? Um, anyway, there's that little yellow amber sand. I liked how that turned out, honestly. I, I, like I said, I almost wished I'd had the green, but on the other hand, maybe the yellow is a little better because it shows up better on the the green and the pink. So it's okay. And it kind of went with that yellow flower. It was more about how it went with the yellow flower, I think. But when I put the green leaves in there, it kind of separated and looked pretty. And I like those leaves too because of the green in the photograph. I think that all turned out really good. I think I'm going back and looking at that sketch and just making sure if I missed anything. Under the title, I do add, um, there was another little femur piece. It was a little banner, and it said Wonder, and I thought that looked pretty there. And then there was also these little, like, jars. You can kind of see them on the left side of the tags and on the right side of the title. They're little, they look like jars with flowers in them. And honestly, there's, again, no real reason except they're pretty, and they have flowers, and she's kind of my little flower, so... Um, they filled in some of that space there. And I did ink the edges of those as well. I did ink, I believe, I don't think I missed anything. If I did, it was by accident, but I did ink the edges of everything with that Distress Oxide, that rose, uh, ro dusty rose, I think is what it was. And it, I thought that looked really pretty. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning or not, but most of the time when I'm inking, I use either gray, brown, or black. I do have a bunch of colors over there, and I probably should pull them out more often. In fact, I need to. I need to start working with that stuff because, again, I, like I said, I bought all these pads that I had. I'm sitting here looking at them right now, and I probably have 15 of them, and 10 of them aren't even opened. And y'all, I've had those for years. Is that crazy? Okay, I'm almost done here. I'm gluing the things down. I'm putting the, I put the one jar on the left side up on foam tape, and I've got this right one over here that I'm putting on foam tape, and I really like that. I do end up getting um, some of my I think it's my Lindy Stamp Gang. I had like a pink. Oh, here I'm inking that wonder. I'm going to go ahead and actually, um, I almost used the word install, y'all. I almost said install that. That's so crazy. I'm going to put that back up on foam tape as well. And I'm going to put that underneath the title. It's not really part of the title, but I think it kind of just enhances it a little bit. Natural Beauty Wonder. I mean, it's not, it doesn't roll off the tongue, but I still thought it was pretty. And I will go, like I said in a second, and I'm going to go get some, uh, pink 
I forget the name of it now. Y'all, I'm sorry. If you really want to know, just comment below and I'll figure it out. Um, a pink spray. Now, granted, the paper itself had all kinds of stuff going on, right? It's got that yellow and, and, and it didn't really have to have any mixed media. Oh, here's where I'm getting those uh, word stickers. So I just put um, a couple of word stickers. I think it says fearless and maybe beauty or wonder or something up on that tag. And then I do one on the lower, there's my head, the lower right tag. I did get my hair colored this past week. I was real pleased with it. Y'all, I'm never going to quit bragging on that Madison Reed stuff. I'm really happy. <laughs> and maybe it's because I get my little self-care indulgence every three weeks, but I really enjoy that. And I always feel so pretty coming out. I take selfies. Um, okay, so there's my three little word stickers. I think I actually end up having to add a little glue on one of these in a second. I, and I, I know I add a little foam because one of mine dangling off the side a little bit. I'm pretty sure I do. I may not do it on camera though, y'all. I can't remember. <laughs> Again, I try to edit stuff out that I think everybody knows what I'm doing there. There's no sense in that. Oh, I add three. Oh, do I add some little? Um, I had gone and grabbed my bucket of uh, like pearls and it's where my enamel dots are. But I think I've mentioned to y'all, I need to use up some of these pearls. Now, my cat's hair was all up in these adhesives for this darn pearls. So, you'll have to see me piddle with... I'm trying to pick out ones that don't have her hair stuck to it. How that happened is beyond me. Because they're kept in this darn container and she don't get in there. So, how that happened is... I guess they just float. I don't know. So, I'm kind of messing with that, trying to get that cat hair off of there. <laughs> I don't want that on my layout. She's pretty, but I don't want her hair on my layout. So, I'm just sticking... Um, it's three groups of three, just your, you know, pretty standard little threesy here. And I really like how these are, you know, again, I'm using up these little pearls too. I've had tons and tons of these, y'all. Again, I bought so many of these things. I got to use them up. And I am doing pretty good though. I'm not on a spin freeze or nothing in the sense of like, not consciously saying I'm not buying stuff, but I'm kind of limiting myself. I'm really basically getting a couple of little monthly kits and the one is that scrap room flavors of the month. So they're pretty, they're, they're just little samplings, which works. So I'm pretty proud of myself. I've only bought a few little things off the online stores and it's usually adhesive or something pretty specific. Like I'm not just going crazy buying tons and tons. Now I said that and I still did buy some collections the other day. I'll have to show y'all. I think I'm going to do one as a kill your ki kill a kit because it's really pretty, but I didn't get any ephemeras or embellishments with it. So I'm going to have to figure something out. Um, I have no idea what I'm gluing down. Oh, I'm adding that glue to the word sticker. I don't guess I've even pulled out that sprinkle stuff yet that I'm going to sprinkle around. Oh, nope, that's my Nuvo glue. That's what I got to add to the back of the stickers. I just felt like it wasn't going to stick if I didn't do that. They, they're just, again, this collection is five years old. And while I do keep it in the house and it's not temperature messed with or anything like that, they still just age. You know, the sticky just ages. So it's just got to have a little glue, a little extras. All right, so I'm good with that, and I think this is where I'm going to get up and run and go get my, yeah, this is where I run and got my, there you are, that's that Lindy Stamp Gang, it's a little pink color, and I'm going to sprinkle that around. I got to get my brush, um, my paintbrush out here, and I'm going to sprinkle it. I tried to use the lid originally, and I just couldn't get it to do right, so I finally give up on it. So I'm sprinkling this, and again, it's not like this needed a bunch of stuff, because you can see there's stuff on the paper, but I think it adds a little something, because it goes on top of some of the pieces that I put down, and it just adds, you know, a little continuity across it. And it's just a real slight little shimmer with that pink, and I think it looks really pretty. So I'm going to slow it down, and well, I'm going to pick it up and show you the layout in just a second here. Maybe I don't slow it down. Sorry about that, but you'll see stills in a second. There's all my little pieces. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all pray for me. I'm going to try to get this bow bunny stuff bashed. <laughs> There's my flower and my leaves. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.